Now to some breaking news. Guilty verdicts in the Varsity Blues scandal. Two wealthy parents have been convicted of buying their children's way into top colleges by having them pose as athletes. These were the first parents to actually face trial and they lost. CBS's Nancy Chen reports from Boston. Today, a federal jury found John Wilson and Gamal Abdelaziz guilty on all counts, ranging from wire fraud to bribery. They broke the law and now they face the consequences. Prosecutors say the men paid a combined $1.5 million to Rick Singer, a college admissions consultant and the mastermind behind an eight-year scheme where he helped children from wealthy families get into prestigious schools. John Wilson and Gamal Abdelaziz used fraud and bribery to get what they wanted. What they did was an affront. Dozens of parents and college officials have been charged. 48 people have either pleaded or planned to plead guilty, including stars Lori Loughlin and Felicity Huffman, who both spent a short time in prison. Wilson paid Singer $220,000 to get his son into USC and a million dollars for his twin daughters to attend Harvard and Stanford. Abdulaziz gave $300,000 to get his daughter into USC as a basketball recruit, even though she didn't make her varsity team in high school. Prosecutors played FBI wiretap calls during the trial to show how Abdulaziz and Singer conspired together. So I just want to make sure our stories are together. I'm going to essentially say that your $300,000 payment um, was made to our foundation to help underserved kids. Okay. Eric Rosen, the former lead prosecutor in this case, says these parents' donations cross the line. The central theme from the beginning is if something involves lies and cheating, it's probably not legitimate. And I think the, the jury agreed with that here. The most serious charges in this case could mean up to 20 years in prison with sentencing scheduled for February. Margaret? Nancy, thank you.